All right, so we got a busy day today. Um, coffee first. And then we have to wax pot a bunch of pickups. So in this yellow thing right here is a bunch of orders going out, but I've got to wax pot them first. Uh, doing it in the kitchen today because it's raining again. But uh, one of these pickups, one of these sets of pickups that are in here, I want to show you before we send them out. All right, so here is the um, guitar we're going to put EMGs in. However, I have this set of pickups that I made yesterday. I told you that I would put these in this guitar, and I would show them to you. Uh, they're blade humbuckers. They're super gnarly. Uh, this guitar is actually not going to... These pickups aren't going to get given away as going to a customer. But I made the cables really long so that I could put them in this guitar and then show them to you and then just clip the ends of the cables back off and then he would have a factory edge and not have to worry about any kind of anything. So let's go ahead and uh, rip this thing apart. I want you to hear these before we send them out. Alright, so here is the same guitar, same pots, same everything, we just put these pickups in it. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how they differ. They make a lot more voltage, they're a lot higher output than the older other ones, but actually they're not. Let's measure them things real quick. Let's measure the old ones and compare them to the new ones. Okay. So... Measured them. The old ones are 9K. Now these new ones are 12. Now what's interesting about this is, is most people are gonna say they don't like high output pickups because they sound muddy, they lack clarity, they don't, they don't have any dimension to them and they kinda all sound the same. I hear a lot of people say that and actually I have this conversation with customers all the time. It just goes to show you that you cannot, I'm gonna show you right now, you cannot go by the DC resistance only for what a pickup is supposed to sound like. I assumed that as dead and gross as these things are, that they would be like 14K or something with a little cheap ceramic magnet in them. They're not. They're only nine. These are 12. But listen to this. I mean, just the little pick scrapes, the... So, completely the opposite of what most people would think. That you couldn't build a high output set of pickups and have like that really, really nice clarity. But it is possible. That's kind of like, well, all of our pickups are kind of like that. That clarity thing is a big thing for me. Um, and what's crazy also is when you listen to this... Now that right there is the neck pickup. There are four ceramic magnets on there uh, and it's a humbucker. 
you just, it doesn't even make sense when you hear it versus what you see go into the pickup. Four ceramic magnets, two, these are uh, bars, they're not single pole pieces, and relatively hot at 11.5 to 12K. That's hot. That's hot. This is almost the hottest thing I make, basically. And with these magnets, it is the, the hottest thing I make. So it's interesting because a lot of people would say something completely opposite of what you're actually hearing right here. Really cool. Uh, so let's throw some... Let's do this. Because this is going to be fun. Now, you wouldn't normally play like that really with that much gain, but the idea I want to show you. String definition, you can hear every string in there. You can hear every string in between and that to me makes a huge difference when you're doing That's the neck pickup. Okay, so what I think we're gonna do, because I've actually never put these pickups on my website. I've made them before, lots of people like them, but it's always been like a, hey, do you have this special thing? That's actually why I made these, somebody asked. So we had a client send me a message and say, hey, do you have a thing that does this? And I'm like, yes, I do, but it's not on the website. I'll make it for you. So uh, from here on out, these are gonna be on the website probably by this time you see this video but they don't have a name so do me a favor get in the comments and tell me what you think I should name these pickups uh, they're ceramic they're 12k they're blade pickups think of the rest of our channel think of the rest of our products kind of what I'm into you if you've been following us for a while you know put it in the comments if I pick uh, the your name, the one that you picked, I will send you, ah, what the heck, I'll send you a set of these pickups. How about that? This, here's the deal though. This is how it's gonna work. I'm going to leave this go for a few days. I'm gonna look in the comments to this video. I'm gonna pick a name. If I pick your name and I reach out to you or I comment back to you and say, hey, yo, you just won because I think we're gonna use your name. You gotta be paying attention and checking your notifications and subscribed and hit the notification bell and that stuff because when I announce it in a video in a few days you gotta be paying attention 
because I give you 48 hours to shoot me an email after that. Otherwise, I don't know how to find you. So make sure that you're subscribed, you hit the bell, and that you're paying attention so that you can actually win this stuff. Because it's happened to me a couple times before where I've tried to give away, give away things and uh, nobody ever replied to me. So I didn't know what to do with it. So make sure that that doesn't happen. I'll give you a set of these pickups. That's what we're going to do. I just think it's only right. You name them, you get them. Okay? Um, I'm going to put them on the website. They're going to be called the Humbuckers with No Name on the website until somebody names them. That's what we're going to do. They're going to be called the Humbuckers with No Name. And if you want to buy a set of these, you can do that. You can go to Dylan Talks Tone. By the time you see this video, these Humbuckers will be on the website as the Humbuckers with No Name until somebody names them. That sounds like fun. That'll work. Okay, so I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and go over some viewer comments and we're gonna give away some pickups, the Fishman Fluence pickups. We're gonna give those away uh, here in just a minute. Uh, in fact, let's give away some other stuff too. Um, first comment, I like that neck pickup. What would you want for it? Uh, my name is this on Facebook and why I want it is for Jazz and Almond Brothers covers. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the pickups we took out of the Jackson. Um, somebody suggested to me a couple weeks ago uh, that maybe I should just give away those parts if we don't cut them up. Sometimes we cut them up for tests and stuff, but if we don't cut them up, maybe we should just give away those takeout parts. Uh, so, buddy, I think that's your name. I think I've seen you on Facebook before as well. Um, send me a message on Facebook and I will uh, I'll send you those pickups. How about that? Those Jackson takeouts. Kevin says, what is that multi-effects board you're using? That is uh, a Kemper Stage. Um, I love that thing. It is amazing. It's my favorite. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, definitely check it out. It's an amp modeler. It has replaced everything. And of course, because I live in a motorhome, it makes it way easier. It is amazing. Uh, let's see. I knew a guy who claimed he could hear a sticker on an electric guitar. That is like one of my favorite comments. It's so funny. Um, we get stuff like that all the time. I get people that say they can tell the difference between like flat head screws and Allen head screws and a humbucker. Um, I mean, I've had people tell me they could tell the difference between colors. Um, hilarious stuff. Hilarious stuff. Super funny. Uh, let's see. A couple quick questions. When tuning guitar with using an inline tuner, is it more accurate to tune with the tone rolled off? I've never heard that before. It doesn't quite make sense to me that that would be the way that it would work better. Um... Maybe I could do some experiments with that, but I, I've never heard that before. Um, having an accurate tuner is important. I'll leave a link to the tuners that we use in the comments. Um, they're not expensive, but they are very accurate. Uh, even you know for just a few bucks, you can have one that you can set intonation and stuff, which is his second question. Also, if you haven't already, can you explain intonation and why is it that the distance from the nut to the 12th fret is the same for all strings? but the distance from the 12th fret to the saddle varies from string to string. That's a really good question. Uh, we're going to get really in depth with intonation stuff um, on our guitar setup course. So if you go to Dylan Talks Tone, uh, patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone, you can enroll in that and intonation is going to be one of those courses coming up. Um, we're going to get super in depth, but the, the basic, let me just give you the basic rundown. Uh, let's say your, your scale length is 25 and a half inches. That's going to be on your high E. The reason the saddles are different distances uh, is because you're compensating for the thickness of the string to maintain an effective 25 and a half inch scale, but compensated for the thicknesses in strings. That's really all it really is. Um, what it's all it really comes down to. And no matter whether it's the nut or a fret that you check it at, that's your zero point. That's, that's all it really is. What pick are you using? It's seen, It looks very large and comfy to play with. Uh, these are just some promotional picks that I bought. I think we take them to shows and stuff with us. Um, Dylan logo on one side, Music and Mascara on the other. They're at 80 uh, Delrin. I really like them. Um, might have to do something with picks because there are there's picks are picks are cool. Uh, we have to do it. We did a pick video a long time ago. Maybe we'll do something else. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's give away some pickups. Let's give away some more pickups. Heck, this will be like the third set in this video. Pretty sweet. Let's talk to Luke 
Shimabukuro. I've definitely heard that active pickups all sound the same, but these seem interesting. Nice AKG headphones, by the way. Oh, those headphones are awesome. I'll put a link to those in the description too. They are so stinking good and they're not expensive. Um, Luke, you win. Uh, make sure that you get with me. Go to dylantalkstone.com. Go to the contact form. Hit the button and send me an email with your address. I don't care where you are in the world. As long as it is legal to, for me to send you something there, I am going to send you a set of pickups. Mostly because you sound cool and you're interested and because uh, someone was mean to you in the comments under it, and I just don't dig that. So you get these pickups. Pretty awesome. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, maybe we'll do some more fun stuff tomorrow.